私が説明していきますので一緒に思い出していきましょう Everybody from Tokyo, we got a great night's sleep last night, so we're feeling good and refreshed. No more jet lag.、Uh, we've got a very, very busy day today.、Uh, we're starting today with a proper tour of Tokyo, seeing some of the temples and the Imperial Palace, as well as、uh, the Ginza District, which is a big shopping district, kind of like、uh, you know, the Miracle Mile in Chicago. But、um, after that, We are going to go check out some of the other districts,、uh, such as Akihabara and Shinjuku. Okay, so that's enough of me talking for right now. Let's head out for the tour. See ya! So, we're at the Meiji Jingo Shrine here in the middle of Tokyo. It's crazy in the middle of a park in the world's largest city, and you would never know it. We learned today what the difference between a shrine and a temple is. There are two religions in Japan Buddhism and Shintoism. So, with Shintoism, there are shrines, and with Buddhism, there are temples. So, we saw a temple earlier, and now we're looking at the Meiji Jingo Shrine. But we're gonna head over to the Imperial Palace now and check that out. See ya. This is the oldest Buddhist temple in all of Tokyo, one of the biggest tourist spots in the entire country. You know, this beautiful structure was bombed during World War II but has since been rebuilt.、Uh, sad because you know, the original structure had been built uh, before uh, the year 1000. So it's one of the oldest temples、uh, in the world, and the oldest temple in Tokyo. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, we're inside one of the staples of Japan, the 7 Eleven. 7 Eleven is not the same in Japan as it is in the US because you can get absolutely anything in here, including hot food. So, we're gonna get one of the things that's on our food list. That's a steamed pork bun. Looks delicious. I'm so excited to try this thing. I don't know what this is called, but it's super soft and doughy. And it's got red bean paste in there. Sounds weird, but it's sweet and delicious. <laughs> this is a fish cake. It's like a very sweet smelling, almost like a pancake filled with cream custard. We were excited about this one. I'm gonna find a set of it. Oh, he's cheap. My heart rages around like an ocean in my head. Electric Town. It is bright. There's so much anime and 
games and video game stuff that's here, we're actually on our way to something that we have been really excited about checking out in a very strange way, but um, it's probably something that is one of the most unique experiences you can have in Tokyo, and it is... The Maid Cafe! <laughs> Exhausted. We started very early this morning, did our tour, saw uh, several temples and shrines, uh, as well as the Imperial Palace grounds. We didn't see the exact uh, Imperial Palace. Oh well. So what we did was we headed over to Shinjuku, had some ramen. That was the bomb. That was the best ramen I've ever had. Following that, uh, we took a look at Akihabara which was awesome, very bright, a lot of anime, a lot of video game stores and things like that. Uh, but that's where we went to the Maid Cafe. Very silly, very goofy. In my opinion, a little bit overrated, but I would still absolutely recommend it to anybody coming to visit Tokyo because it's so unique and something you can't do anywhere. I'm pretty sure you can't do anywhere else other than Tokyo. So absolutely recommend it. The one we went to is called At Home Cafe. So I'll put a link in the description below to that, as well as some of the other places we went. But right now, our feet are killing us, our backs are killing us. Uh, it's our first full day, so we're very jet lagged. This is our hotel behind us. We're calling it a night. We'll pick it back up with more touring of Tokyo tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Daddy's not real.